Do you wish you had more control over the color of your Switch screen? Maybe you want the colors to pop out a bit more to resemble the OLED Switch screen. Or maybe you'd like a blue light-like filter setting at certain hours of the night. These quality of life changes and more are made possible by Fizu. Hello folks, Manito here, I hope you're doing good. In this tutorial, I'll be going over the setup of Fizu by Avern. I hope I'm pronouncing both of those right. <laughs> As I just mentioned, Fizu allows you to adjust the look of your Switch screen. You can modify the color temperature of the display and adjust certain settings such as gamma, luminance, and color range. You can even schedule your settings to be applied at certain times of the day or night. All of these features work both handheld and docked. Here's a few disclaimers and things to take note of before jumping in. In this tutorial and in all of my other tutorials, I'll be using a Windows PC for the computer sections. You can still follow along if you're using another OS, but some steps may be different. Next, you'll need a modded switch running Atmosphere custom firmware. If you don't have a modded switch, check out my noob friendly guide in the description. It goes over the basics of modding your switch. The next thing, while not required, is recommended. That is Tesla Menu. Tesla Menu allows you to pull up a menu similar to the Quick Menu. From here you can adjust certain settings by supported installed sys modules. You can even toggle installed sys modules on and off on the fly, which is very useful if you experience any issues while having too many active at once. You can find my tutorial guide on Tesla menu in the description. And that's all you'll need before setting up Fizu. Before we get started, make sure to click that subscribe button and the notification bell to stay notified of future videos, streams, and to support the channel. I noticed most of you that watch these videos are not subscribed, so please, subscribe and help build up the channel even more. Thank you, appreciate it a lot. I also have a growing community Discord server where you can join to talk with me and other members of the community, or if you need help with mod stuff. Now with that out of the way, let's get started with downloading Fizu. Connect your Switch SD card to your computer. I'll be connecting via FTP, wireless file transferring. I have a guide for this in the description. Open up your preferred browser and search up Fizu Switch. Click here, the GitHub page for Fizu. Scroll down to see features, the installation process, settings, and how this all works. Big shout out to Avern for creating this and to Zakif27. Sorry if I butchered that pronunciation. Scroll up and click Releases. The latest release will be at the top. At the time of recording, the latest version is 2.4.3. If it's at a higher version when you're downloading this, that's okay. Go ahead and get the latest version if it's newer than this. There are two options here, Fizu and Fizu CHL. With the first option, Fizu requires you to open the app or Tesla overlay to activate any changes when starting up the switch, while CHL loads up any changes when launching Atmosphere. As mentioned in the settings section of the GitHub, the reason for this is to reduce memory usage of the sys module. If you'd like your settings to be applied at boot, then go for CHL. Both apps have the same settings, so there's no difference other than what I just explained. In using Fizu version 2.4.3 on Switch system version 18.0.1, I did encounter some crashes with CHL in my testing, so I'll be going with the standard version for this video. By the time you're following this guide, CHL may be working, but at this time, I've not had success with it. Download Fizu, open it, extract it, and move the three folders to the root of your SD card, the main directory of the SD card. If you were to update from an older version, it would ask you if you wanted to replace old files and folders. If so, select yes. And that's all for the setup on the computer side. If you're using FTP to transfer this over, hold power on your switch, tap power options, and restart. 
When adding sys modules like this, you'll have to restart the system to apply changes if you moved the files over via FTP. If you connected the SD card to your computer, eject it, put it in your switch, enter RCM, and boot into Atmosphere. Setting it up like this doesn't require you to restart your switch since you already booted into Atmosphere after setting it up. Once your switch is up and running, Atmosphere, open the Tesla menu and confirm that Fizu is active. That's okay if you don't have Tesla. Head to the Homebrew menu, head to Fizu, and open it. You can edit four different profiles for both handheld and docked modes. The disclaimer for using Fizu version 2.4.3 while docked. I encountered major lag when keeping Fizu active while docked and then switching to handheld mode. Here's what I mean by this. I have my switch docked and Fizu is active. If I remove my switch from the dock, there's a ton of lag and I can't really do anything. To avoid this, simply disable Fizu from Tesla menu or the Fizu Homebrew app when going from docked to handheld. I'm not sure what causes this, but hopefully it'll be fixed in a future update. Hey, might even be fixed by the time you're watching this. Head over to help for helpful info. <laughs> Usage shows the controls. and documentation explains what the settings do. When changing settings, you can see a preview on the right before you apply changes. Under time, you can adjust a timer for when settings should be applied. You can leave this alone for now if you'd like and apply your settings whenever you want by selecting correction active. These are my settings here. I only did some minor tweaks to the gamma, saturation, and luminance. I found that these settings made the colors pop out a bit better on my screen. You can set this up however you want and however looks best for you. You may want to do some tweaking between certain games, so I definitely recommend using Tesla Menu for on-the-fly switching. Or taking advantage of the different profiles and basically using each one for a different game. Once you've made changes, select Apply. Once you're done, press plus and home to return to the home menu. As I mentioned, if you have Tesla menu installed, you can adjust settings in the middle of a game. Open Tesla menu and select Fizu. From here, you can toggle correction active, adjust settings and apply settings. Check this out. Works like a charm. If you seem to be having issues with this, try disabling other active sys modules. If it's working, then you're all set. A disclaimer before I leave you with some comparison footage. This sys module, like some others, may get outdated when a major system update releases. For example, at the time of recording, the latest system version is 18.0.1. There's a chance version 19.0 could cause Fizu to not work or cause an error screen for Atmosphere. That's okay. Simply go into your Atmosphere folder, Contents, and delete the Fizu title ID folder. Keep tabs on the GitHub releases page to see if there's a new release that supports the latest version. You can also keep tabs on the GitHub releases page in case there's an update to the app in general. And now I'll leave you guys with some comparison footage with and without Fizu Active. And that is all for the video, I hope you all enjoyed this tutorial. Make sure to leave a like, drop a comment, and subscribe for more content. Shout out to my channel members, thank you so much for your support, and thank you, yes you, watching, for watching until the end. Appreciate it. On the left you'll see a playlist for my Switch Mod tutorials, definitely recommend checking that out. And on the right, a video that YouTube recommends for you. As I said, definitely check this out. Have a good day, good night, whatever time you're watching this, and God bless. See ya. Pax Christi.